Hi, I'm Sonia and Joy Divine Princess is a collective reading, tarot reading, don't try and force ground to fit them up along to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take a reason to leave the rest of someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. Hopefully you're doing very well, hopefully you're having a good start to your week and that your weekend went really well. This is a collective reading for Cancer. Welcome Cancer. Let's see what we have for you now. This is some sort of new beginning. It looks like it could be a new job or it could be a donation. Lump sum donation. Oh yes, you're working very hard. You're ready for a new beginning. Maybe you're actually working very hard and you're actually going to get rewarded. Maybe it's your hard work that's paying off. And you're taking a leap of faith. You're taking a leap of faith into some sort of new beginning. It looks like new job or new kind of business opportunity the challenge is oh this is a great thing other people look up to you and see what you're doing they see how hard you work and you're actually really kind of doing very well building something amazing and you're actually very strong this is leo energy but there's you're, you're focused on your work you're actually doing well in your job you get noticed for what you do. You're actually building something awesome. And also someone feels like they're left in the cold. Someone feels abandoned. Possibly there's others you have to leave behind. This is the distant past. This is Pisces energy. This is something that's been hidden. Some sort of illusions. Someone has kept you waiting. Somebody that you've been waiting in a lot, in a, you know, a long time. You're waiting for something some sort of secrets or something that's been hidden and this is to do with a happily ever after so you actually had to wait maybe and because this is all your cups being filled the home the happy family the children something has been hidden from you you're also in stagnation so it's like you've had to wait you've kind of been waiting around for something something hidden possibly in a love relationship so recent past you've actually started to focus on your work because we have this card already that's kind of in, in the starting so we actually have this card again you're actually working very hard getting more balance here and we also have the divine feminine so this is actually your start maybe you're stepping into your feminine energy this could be that you manifested somebody who's a divine feminine this is the most beautiful queen in the deck the most abundant queen in the deck, someone that embodies all the queens, somebody that could be giving birth to new ideas, this could be you, where you're working very hard and you're actually giving birth to a new business and it's like you're actually doing very well and actually getting very balanced out as well. That is also Libra and Taurus energy and Sagittarius. So your thoughts are about some sort of new passion you got a new passionate sort of thing that you're thinking about you're very intuitive so you're you know you've got some intuitive gifts possibly you're ready for some sort of new thing that you actually have to put the effort into and actually messages are coming in quickly so maybe you've got a lot of passion about something for something or maybe you need to trust your intuition because this could be some sort of younger energy leo sagittarius and aries doesn't have to be but things are wanting to move faster um, maybe it's when you take that leap of faith and you start something new using your intuition and then also things start to move quickly. So your future here is Divine Masculine. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Also it's sort of like somebody who is actually... So the King of Pentacles could be a business owner. This could be somebody here who is actually... Um, a really good with their money this could be a father energy somebody who is a boss energy oh this is a nice and shining armor somebody who would like to sweep you off your feet but we also have some sort of painful ending so this maybe a beginning with a painful ending to do with this um masculine energy virgo taurus capricorn they don't have to be it could be an ending with a boss energy and also someone that's come in to be a nice and shining armor to help you out your fears are somebody younger someone that you're working with maybe somebody the message is about maybe it's about a job you got fears about changing or something 
But this is also a new cycle here. This is a new cycle and your ships are coming in here. So this is actually pretty amazing. Could be someone younger that you're dealing with that wants to work with you. And you've got fears about taking that sort of offer. Accepting that offer. Other people see you as uh, stuck in a blindfold. Stuck in a karmic situation. You need to cut yourself free. You keep going round and round the circles. And it's actually eight of swords. So it's like you actually need to cut yourself free and make a decision. You know, stay stuck in the situation. Or cut yourself free, take off the blindfold and smell the roses. Hey, looks like we've got eight and then we got nine. You're actually very financially stable, so you're stuck in some sort of situation. But it looks like if you take a leap and cut yourself free, you're going to actually be very financially stable. You tame the bird like you've tamed the beast, like the bird in your hand. But you need to make some decisions about moving forward because this is a pathway you need to choose from. Stay stuck in a situation or do you move forward into something where you're really doing well on your own? So your hopes are, you're hoping to overcome sort of disappointments, some sort of, you know, crying over spilt milk. You're really kind of hoping to recover from some sort of disappointments here. We actually have had some heartbreak, it looks like, where you're actually focusing on lack. Try not to focus on disappointment. You're hoping for some sort of, oh, you're hoping for heartbreak because you're focusing on the lack, see? So it's like you're ready to move forward into a new beginning. This is a new pathway. You're hoping for new beginnings, but you're still kind of grieving something. You're still focused on some sort of disappointments. The outcome here is Libra Gemini, Aquarius, masculine energy, someone that needs to make some cutting choices, maybe needing to use your voice and, you know, actually clear communication. Maybe you need to communicate with someone because we have the sort of truth here the truth coming out, ready to speak some truth here, but it's also some sort of obsession. Maybe some sort of younger energy that's coming in towards you who has a lot of obsession and passion for you, but they're toxic. So maybe you need to cut out some people that are toxic. This and start on a new journey. This is a message about new beginnings, new starts, but you need to cut out some toxic stuff you also got some sort of union coming together, celebrating, moving, maybe. What is this about? This could be a Capricorn energy even. And the Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Ah, oh, yes, somebody is staying stuck in a situation, needing to really make some decisions and not crying over spilt milk. One more. Some sort of friendship. Starting off as a friendship, you know, this is some sort of new kind of love offer. Possibly somebody is staying stuck in a situation. They would like to be friends. They would like to have a union. They would like to come and speak the truth here. They have a lot of passion for you, but there's also something toxic. So be very careful whatever this is. Um, one more. Taurus energy, some sort of commitment, some sort of contract. Um, read the fine print, whatever it is. Alright, whatever that is, um, good luck with that. Bye!